But patience is one of those things that I've had to work on. Although, it is something that... It didn't come to me more naturally than a lot of other things. And when I was younger, it seemed like it took forever for things to happen. Like if I wanted something to happen that was going to only take 10 or 15 minutes, it seemed like it took forever. But now as you get older, time just flies, hours go by, you know, days, weeks, months, and years. And then you ask yourself, what has happened with the time? But when it comes to patience, um, I've developed that more with drawing and through doing a lot of drawing and spending many hours sitting there drawing, you know, trying to develop my skills, trying to get better at drawing. And you know, if you try to rush certain things with drawing, it's not going to work the way that you want it. You now, if I'm sitting here drawing with one of my technical pens, this being a standard Mars Medic 0.35 ISO. If I'm trying to do a drawing and if I get into too much of a rush with that, I can actually damage the pen and then I'd have to buy another one. And these cost about $40 each. So with patience, um, it's helped me deal with other areas of my life, things that bother me or anything that's you know, really on my mind. But having the patience to work through things when um, otherwise at other points in your life you might not have been really able to do that and I remember when I I never really had interest in fishing um, a lot of the outdoor activities that people have interest in um, I was never really into uh, watching football or a lot of sports that was never into um, you know hunting or fishing and I remember the times that I didn't go fishing when I was younger um, I didn't really have interest in that kind of just wanted to sit there and enjoy the weather uh, just enjoy everything around me and it would kind of zone out and I would be relaxed and then sometimes you would catch a fish and then you'd have to suddenly focus on it really quickly um, but doing a lot of drawing has helped me with developing my patience in that um, not only with drawing but if there's something that is going to happen in life or a goal that I have I have more patience working towards it I'm not in as much of a rush of trying to get there, trying to um, complete what I'm doing, but rather seeing what I'm doing in the moment, getting better at that, and then as time passes by, you know, reflecting back on what I did and my improvements to now, and then you know, if we get too focused on the future, what's going to happen or what we think is going to happen, we're just going to keep thinking of the end goal, the end result, and we can never really think of right now of what we're doing and enjoy the moment. So there have been times to where I wanted to get better at drawing, but I was too focused on the end result of it. And then I became impatient. I felt that I should be better than what I am. And you know, I've questioned myself about that many times before about, you know, it, am I very good at drawing, being that I've you know, been drawing now for, oh, what is it, 27, 28 years, pretty much when I was, you know, three or four years old. I just started drawing ever since then, and just been doing it nonstop, and when... When you like, want to be somewhere in life, whatever you're doing, we often compare ourselves to other people and we think that we should be at a certain level or a certain skill because of where they're at. But maybe they didn't, they didn't have to overcome certain things in life that were the same things that you had to go through. And that's going to affect you know, their outcome or where they are. And uh, if you get too worried about the comparison all the time then uh, you aren't really able to 
you know, really focus on what it is that you're good at or getting better. You know, if, if I spent too much time worrying about how good I am in comparison to other people that are artists and um, people from, you know, hundreds of years ago, the art they did, and then I think most people, a lot of people, if they had that mindset where they were just really focused on you know, how good other people are or how good people were in the past and thinking that, you know, that's impossible, I can't achieve that, I can't do it. They're just not going to have the patience they're going to give up before they even can even start that. And, you know, depending on even the medium or what you're using to create art with, you know, like when I use these technical pens, I can draw kind of fast and sketchy, but not too quickly. So it helps me have the patience to um, really put in the details and focus on making it detailed, but I can uh, draw without really having to lift up the pen. The ink just really flows onto the paper, and that's what I like about drawing with those and fountain pens. Um, but drawing has helped me a lot with uh, patience, and I think there's there's some things that we do or a hobby that we have that we don't really know um, is actually helping us a lot more than we realize that. And then you stop doing it for a while and then um, things that bother you or you're on your mind again. And then you kind of lose patience with everything. So I think that if you start developing your patience more to not Try to think that you can be um, at a certain level so quickly. Um, there's kind of, it's like, imagine a graph, okay, and a skill level. It's not linear. Like, you can have a period where um, 10 years or 20 years of your life when you're working on something where your, your skill's kind of like this, and then it just jumps up and increases dramatically. Or you can have it to where you're here, then it increases dramatically, and you're kind of just stuck, slowly, incrementally getting better. But depending on how it works for you, you might be someone that it takes a long time to improve. But in comparison to that, if, if somebody can improve really quickly, then they're just kind of stuck. And they want to try to get better than that. They kind of I think that every day or week or month that they should get better at the same speed they did within the first few days or weeks or months. Um, and then somebody that takes a long time to improve, they kind of started way down here and slowly improve. Um, I think if you just keep at it, you can continue improving. Um, but if you have patience, you just keep working on that to where you can and get to here. Rather than if you are here, increase you're really good and then you're just kind of stuck. So you end up having, um, you end up kind of at the same point, but with just a different perspective. And if you have the patience to just keep um, working on it, um, and definitely just enjoying doing something. If you, if you enjoy doing something that is, uh, that you want to improve at, you will get better with, at it over time because you don't have, um, you don't think about giving up or quitting it. So then just keep working on it, keep doing it um, every day. And uh, eventually, continue developing your patience and then you can sit there for many hours working on it. Like when I sat here for you know, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 hours at a time and I keep drawing and making more doodles and um, you know, if I just thought to myself that, you know, because there's not a lot of people know of me, um, just because I don't make a lot of money from it and all that, then if that was my goal, then um, I think a lot of, a lot of times people give up because of that. Um, I think if you just enjoy doing it, then you'll get better a lot faster and you'll develop the patience. So yeah. Drawing has helped me quite a bit with developing uh, patience for things, especially if you're waiting in line, if you're waiting for your computer to update, or your phone to update, any of that stuff. But you need to set them down and uh, go do something else. Um, but yeah, so it definitely has helped me, and um, 
I'll think of some other topics and things to talk about. Um, I haven't really made any videos uh, like this in a while where I sit down and talk about things that are on my mind. But um, I'll think about some other things and um, let me know if there's any topics you'd like me to talk about. And um, I'll write them down and find them out and see what, uh, see what we can do and go from there. But I'll see you later and have fun doodling and try to have some patience um, if you can. Try your best, but uh, I'll see you later. You have a good day.